Some people say tiramisu has been around since the days of Michelangelo. That's the 16th century, and its name means pick me up, and it's been made with lady fingers, biscotti flecked mascarpone, espresso, whipped cream, and last but not least, coffee flavored liqueur. To make the lady fingers, not too difficult to make your own, and they're so much better than anything you can buy. So, six egg yolks with 11 tablespoons of sugar. So let this beat up until it's light and fluffy. We also are going to use one and a quarter cup of flour. Always level. And in another mixing bowl, we have the six egg whites. And you can prepare your baking sheets if you like. We have drawn the width of the lady fingers that we want to create. And you'll need two baking sheets lined with parchment. So that's beating very nicely. And we have to fold the flour into the egg yolk mixture. You can use the machine for folding if you do it quickly. Otherwise, uh, use a rubber spatula and fold in the flour by hand. So I'm going to sprinkle. And that's folding a little bit. That's it. So it's a little faster than with the rubber spatula. So now finish off the folding process with your beater. Just go around a few times. And into this, you're going to fold softly beaten egg whites. Sprinkle with one tablespoon of granulated sugar. They get nice and fluffy. The egg whites go from translucent to white and fluffy. So this looks just about the right consistency. You don't want to overbeat. And now lighten your mixture with a dollop of this. And amazingly, this does lighten. So now add some more of your egg white. Homemade lady fingers tend to be softer than the commercially available lady fingers, and I think they're just so much better. So that looks good. Now, the easy way to pipe this is, of course, with a pastry bag and half-inch round pastry tip. Fold down the top of your bag and fill with the batter. By folding down the top, it enables you to not get batter dripping out of the top of the bag. You can fold over the collar and gather it and pipe. Now, these are all going to be buried in the tiramisu, so you're not even going to see them. So if they're not absolutely perfect, don't worry about it. Make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now, before these go into the oven, you must sprinkle them with powdered sugar. This forms a kind of crunchy crust on top of the spongy lady fingers. Now, if you're not familiar with lady fingers, they're a classic cake-like cookie used as an accompaniment for ice cream, mousses, puddings, charlotte russe, and other desserts. They're also known as the Biscuit de Savoie, which is the Savoy biscuit. Let the lady fingers sit out for about three or four minutes and into the 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. And now for the final assembling of the lovely tiramisu. You'll need some biscotti or some amaretti. Grind them up in a food processor. Good. Gives that little crunch in the tiramisu. And then to a pound of mascarpone, you will add one cup of sugar and eight large egg yolks broken up. So stir this up and now sprinkle in your cookie crumbs ground up. And now your egg whites, just make sure that they are nice and fluffy and fold those in. These are the eight egg whites from the eight egg yolks. And finish folding the remaining egg whites. So this is ready. Our lady fingers are ready. This is freshly made cooled espresso. And to this espresso, add two tablespoons of a coffee liqueur. 
And you're going to be soaking these quickly in the coffee liqueur. What you want is this whole surface covered with your delicious lady fingers. Now, spread a layer of the mascarpone. Spread it carefully in an even layer. And it has that lovely color from the biscotti. Now, another layer of the lady fingers. And if you love coffee, you're going to love this dessert. So spread this all over the second layer. And when did you say you were having that dinner party? This is the dessert to serve. And you're going to top it next with a layer of beautiful, fluffy whipped cream. Flavor your whipped cream with a tiny bit of confectioner sugar and about a teaspoon of vanilla. Tastes very good. And then just swirl it on top. And this must get right into the refrigerator to be chilled for, oh, several hours and preferably overnight. Now the last gilding of this beautiful Italian lily is a fine grating of milk chocolate. Would you like to see what it looks like? Generally, you can actually see the layers of the filling and the lady fingers. This might just be everyone's favorite Italian dessert. Give it a try.